In the late 19th century, an extraordinary woman, Mary Potter, made it her mission to take care of the most vulnerable people, the sick and the dying in her community. In doing so, she showed great vision, courage and compassion. Mary Potter was one of those unique individuals that uh, had a vision to make a difference in people's lives. She had a mystical revelation that she was being called to start a special order with a new focus. That focus would have both a contemplative, a prayerful aspect to it, as well as an active aspect of caring for the sick and the dying and people at the end of life. Mary Potter was such a um, strong woman and in the face of quite uh, a lot of adversity, challenges from the church itself. Um, she pushed through with a vision uh, to assist the most vulnerable in society. She was able to gather people to that vision uh, and the astounding thing from my perspective now is that what some 130 years later she's still gathering people to that vision um, and, and that includes me. She had this vision of what she called the greater company of Mary which is all of us. Um, people who would be available and supportive of people with their hands and their feet, and their energy to communicate that uh, people are valuable, that their lives have dignity, that they're loved uh, no matter what they're going through. And uh, that's true when they're alive, it's true when they're dying, and it's true even after we've died. So extraordinary woman. Her life was about others, it was all about others. So I think that's where you can then string it through to today because what's, what's the purpose of what I'm doing? It's to enable people to, to schedule services so that we can help other people, so we can care for other people. I mean, she gave everything for the people she was looking after. Even if we took a small portion of that um, and reflect that in what we do, um, that really makes our working here worthwhile, really. We give people a reason to live. We put a spring in their step and we communicate that, that they are valuable and that they're, pre they're precious and their life has meaning no matter what stage their life's in. There is uh, support and care and friendship uh, for them in whatever they're going through. So I've had a passion for palliative care for a long time. Uh, I think certainly from a first-hand experience I've just seen how we can make such a difference to people's lives and I think that's not just our patients, it's also uh, families, friends, carers as well. Caring for the elderly and vulnerable is what we do. It's in every decision, every decision that we make uh, has that in mind. Uh, going back to our core values of hospitality, healing, stewardship and respect. Everything that we do uh, has a focus ar around our clients at the end of the day. The legacy of Mary Potter is really reflected in everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis in Calvary. I mean, you know, we're still going out there and helping the most vulnerable people in our society. We're caring for people when they're sick, we're caring for people when they're dying, and we're caring for their families at the same time so that we can really provide support to people in the most difficult times for them. And to me, that's the legacy of Mary Potter completely reflected every day. It's about caring, um, it's about friendship, and it's about support. I think she was a great individual with great spirit and adventure, being allowed to do what she was so many years ago. It's our responsibility now to continue on with that mission, so every day we do something I think that she would be proud of.